All right, welcome to what I think is gonna be the last episode on this triple clamp. In this episode, I'm gonna take it to the bench and show you all the parts that I screwed up. And then we're gonna hit it with the die grinder and the scotch Bright pad and see if we can get it looking a whole lot better. That's what's next on Chris Builds. Okay, so what did we screw up on this part? I'll never claim to be a machinist. I don't have any professional training in machining. However, every time I touch the lathe in the mill, I learn something new and it's very satisfying, but my parts are never gonna be perfect. I'm always gonna screw stuff up. And honestly, I'm fine with that because what I learn along the way is truly valuable and it gets a little better every time. So the first error I made on this part stems from one key mistake. All these areas where the part meets uh, in corners, where flats meet at other angles and these rounds end in flats didn't come out very good. And they didn't come out very good because of one key mistake on my part. In my drawing, I made all these radiuses an eighth inch, which meant that I thought I could come in here with a quarter inch end mill and nicely create that transition from one plane to another. In practice, that didn't really pan out very well because this part is about an inch and a quarter thick, and that is just too thick to maintain good rigidity on a quarter inch cutter and cut the whole part and get a nice smooth transition. What I should have done was used a three eighths and three eighths inch cutter to do these corners and radiuses, but live and learn. The other mistake I made is on these 45 degree angles for these pinch clamps. So when I had it on the rotary table, I went to cut this first one and I measured it out and rotated the table and I got a perfect cut. This one came out perfect. On the other side though, I was off on the rotary table and therefore this angle didn't come out correct. And I didn't realize it until I was fixtured to cut the slots and the bolt holes. So I made a game day decision there to cut this plane where the bolts go in to be uh, parallel to the slots. However, that means this plane is not at a 45 degree angle to this, and this whole area is slightly off. Now I'm gonna take the die grinder to it and some sandpaper and see if I can smooth this part out and make it look a whole lot nicer.
All right, I think that's gonna be it for the last part on this triple clamp. I think there comes a time in every project where you realize you have to stop messing with it. And I just hit that point. So we got all the really bad mistakes out with the die grinder and the Scotch-Brite wheel, hit it with some hand sanding, then a little Scotch-Brite and some super fine steel wool. And I got this nice dull aluminum luster that I was after. This part's looking really good. I gotta move on to some other parts on this bike to try to finish it up. I'm gonna be filming segments as I go and posting them here. So if you like what you see, please subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.